Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here in Passy. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us today. I just woke up. I'm, I'm half awake. I kind of passed out in the couch, and I didn't see any of the Square Enix conference. And the first goddamn thing I see as soon as I open up Twitter is that Final Fantasy VIII is remastered. It's coming this year to everything. <laughs> it's like it's, oh God. it's like not even a matter of like, oh well, we're going to maybe release on the PlayStation first. No. Everything, shotgun it, blow everybody's asses out, put it onto every single console you possibly can. Uh, Final Fantasy VIII is my personal favorite of the Final Fantasy series. I've absolutely adored it uh, ever since its original release. I have been meaning to do videos about Final Fantasy VIII. Um, I've recorded the footage for it maybe four or five times. I've done it a number of times in live stream. Played Final Fantasy VIII. It's the first thing, first game this channel ever played was a modded version of Final Fantasy VIII on PC. Um, Roses and Wine, it was my first live stream. It was so harsh on my computer at the time back then that it, and this, we're, we're talking like seven, eight years ago. It was so long, it was so hard on my computer back then. My computer essentially melted, shut down, and I was no longer able to do anything else with that computer. Um, yeah, so Final Fantasy VIII is an important game to me. It's a, sure it's an important game to you. And it's the one that's been missing from the Final Fantasy kind of re release cycle that they've actually had so far. So with the announcement of Final Fantasy VII on the 3rd of the 3rd, 2020, and everything else was also at Square Enix, they decided to drop this trailer. We're going to take a quick look at it, and we're just kind of go get all hypey and excited -y, and I'll talk more about what they're probably going to do. And I want to kind of get a closer look at the models and the design that they're using with the HD, because if you weren't aware, Final Fantasy VIII had a major issue. Um, essentially, it was out on PSX. And then they went to do a PC release of it. But apparently a lot of their source files were missing whenever they went to do the PC release of it. So somehow, somewhere, somewhen, they have found all the materials they required. And it'll, from the quick looks that I have seen from like the couple of stills people have been sharing around, it looks like they've remodeled the characters and everything else as well. So we no longer have bad texture faces to deal with. And there's been such a uh, massive uh, input from the fan community to create the mods for that to make it look so good that I'm kind of going like, have I not seen this somewhere before? But we're going to check out the video now, and uh, it's about only about a minute long. It's a, it's literally the uh, Final Fantasy VIII kind of. I think it's the original trailer for Final Fantasy VIII, just redone in HD for um, a PS4 release and everything. A PS4, a PS, not even Vita, PS4, Switch, Xbox, PC release. We're going to get this check this out now. Uh, I don't know which button to press first. Okay, so let's get ourselves ready. So we're looking at the cutscenes. In fact, the way actually we got squared off, um, it isn't like a remastered, redone cutscene. Obviously, just the. Uh, Best resolution of the cutscene that could be. Have I, have, I, have I skipped part of the. What the hell happened? What? 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 How did that actually happen? <laughs> Never mind. Sorry. We'll just do that from the beginning. I must have hit a button whenever I put it down. There. Oh. Long last. Let's see. Right. So obviously, the models and design look closer to. Um. Oh, it really looks really good. It looks closer to maybe uh, the, um, I'm trying to think, uh, Kingdom Hearts level of kind of like models here, a model design, but it's just, uh, uh, it's expressionless, it's an emotionless, but it's because it's actually a, a game from goddamn final, from 1999. So, um, Final Fantasy VIII, uh, one of the big things I'm actually going to be looking forward to doing is actually doing my uh, my game break runs of Final Fantasy VIII because this is actually a fun-ass game to play with. Uh, everything between its cards to its um, combat mechanics to its junctioning system uh, have been heavily, heavily exploited and abused over the years. And you can do some interesting things with it. And with Final Fantasy VIII Remastered, I'm going to look forward to doing it all at triple speed <laughs> just to show it off. So um, we'll definitely be putting up a couple of Just the Tips videos for Final Fantasy VIII um, here on the channel. We'll, we'll most likely uh, go through and do the usual uh, Final Fantasy VIII run of getting yourself overpowered at the end of disc one. 
Just, just actually just uh, take the piss out of the, the game system that's available. Like the, if, if, you don't, if you don't know what it is, um, once you have card mod and you have card, uh, it, it's, the game's completely and utterly um, broken open. You can do absolutely anything with it. Pretty much have access to spells that you really shouldn't at that early point of the game. You have <clears throat> stats that are actually going to be ridiculously overpowered. You can end up actually just playing a no fight game at that point. You don't like pretty much early on. You can set up so you don't do any encounters unless you absolutely require them, except for the bosses, and do like a super low level run of the game. And everything's tied into Squall's actual stats. So whenever you've got keep Squall low level, all the enemies stay low level because they scale with you throughout the game. It's uh, there's so many things to talk about with the actual mechanics of Final Fantasy. It. I, I want to get back into actually doing some videos about it uh, for just the tips because we we're Final Fantasy Seven out now or we're coming out again. Just the tips videos for it for like how to get the exp glitch in running to uh, how a quick way to find Gil and Final Fantasy Seven in Final Fantasy Eight. There's um, a whole raft of things we could do to actually just kind of like take the piss of the system, but it's more the fact that it's lovingly taking the piss. It's 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 an endearment of insult <laughs> to actually play that game sometimes. Um, I'm really excited. Uh, it's it's just the fact that we've been we poked and prodded, we heard about it for for years, and finally they actually just go like, yeah, fine, 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 fine. You'll have it by the end of the year. And I was like, <laughs> like they, that'll fill out my spot. Like I I know we're waiting until March for Final Fantasy VII remaster, or not remaster remake. Um, a Final Fantasy VIII remaster definitely fill that hole for me. Uh, it's, only problem is saying coming twenty nineteen. I'm not exactly pleased that that's a very broad deadline. Um, I, I have a feeling, I have a theory. Essentially, Final Fantasy VIII's remaster will drop the same time they drop maybe a demo for Final Fantasy. Like that's a you know like the the you know it's kind of like a, a very Square Enix thing to actually kind of go like oh you want to play the demo of Final Fantasy VIII? Oh, you have to go and buy this game. <laughs> you know, it's um it's one of those. It's one of those habits that they have had in the past, and I wouldn't be surprised for them to continue on this process in the future because it, people are chomping at the bit to get that seven. If you actually do like a Final Fantasy VIII remaster release, and if you buy the game now immediately for the price of twenty dollars, you get the access to an uh, early access demo for Final Fantasy VII. Like that's the our theme probably even for Final Fantasy VII, but I'd hope for an early access demo because we've been there've been enough rumors talking about that they were going to do a demo release for the actual conference. This is just um this is just uh, another possibility in that same realm. So um guys, uh, I don't know what else to really say other than we will be doing stuff about Final Fantasy VIII. I'm going to be keeping my ear to the ground for the moment that they give us a launch date for this. And believe me, the day that Final Fantasy VIII gets launched, I will be taking a couple of days off work to stream it with you. So uh please feel free to actually check that out. I'm looking forward to playing it. <sighs> At long last. The last in the series. <laughs> well, thanks very much. Um, thanks very much for watching. If you actually are excited for Final Fantasy VIII, comment in the bits below. I look forward to actually hearing your thoughts, your expectations. What kind of stuff would you like to see in um, a video series about it, like a tips video? Is there any particular things that actually kind of annoyed you about the game? Maybe card locations or um, low-level run tips or uh, pretty much like I I'm going to have a video about how to do, how to essentially max out your character before you actually go to Balam. Like, but essentially, like, so, literally, you use Fire Cave and getting card mod and all those things just before, like, literally from the very earliest point of the game, where you then, at that point, you really don't, you'll never have to draw unless you have, like, a specific thing that you want to draw from that enemy. That, that will get through and show how easily broken that game very much. Be. So, um, yeah, thank you very much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure. And I will see all you dudes in video. Bye.